Myself and my colleague, uh, Ian Yule, started a father's um, group about two years ago because it was always something for women, but nothing for the dads or the male carers, grandpas, etc. Um, in relation to group work. They're now doing a, a mining film where they've actually taken part in, in acting themselves in the film. It's allowed them to gel together and socialise, which maybe they didn't have a chance to do before because they were some of them were lone parents and didn't have a, an out to uh, mix with other dads or other males. So they've learned new skills. One dad in particular has gone from not knowing much about a computer to now being really computer literate and has actually gone on to um, find employment. The other dads are interested in um, further education um, and learning new skills and hopefully onwards and upwards. My name is Daryl Coburn. I'm the filmmaker for the Dads Group for the Pits and Ponies project. And I came on board at the start. They had a lot of ideas, so <laughs> too many ideas, I think. And I had to kind of rein them in and sort of like pick one because I did a course before that on animation. So I think they were initially veering towards kind of more animation and then they kind of reined into this sort of documentary type it is and we get everybody to get involved in different aspects so we had Chris doing interviewing and I think they, they all did like a bits of acting, got involved in every sort of day and every bit of the production and even towards the end of the editing, even though they weren't editing it themselves, well I'd like get a rough cut and then get feedback from them and then maybe make changes so right from the start to the, the end they were all involved in some way or another. Everybody gathered around the table at uh, meetings and we'd all have our say about what, what we want to do and everybody have different ideas. I think the group has learned quite a lot in this project, have gained in a lot of confidence. When Ian and Linda came to my house and came out with this idea to start and do the filming and that. It's a bit dubious to start with. Once I started it, it just kept getting better and better and better. When we see my drawings come to life, that just gave me that wee extra boost I needed to keep going. A year ago, I couldn't have switched on a computer without it blown up. Know what I mean? That's how bad I was with them. Now I can get it on, get all the programs running. I've, even the, my wee boy, he's started doing his own wee short films because it's, it's a confidence builder for him as well. I come down to join Daz Group because I wanted to meet new folks, learn more stuff, go to places, learn new skills off the guys, start doing stuff with, with the videos and and now, now I can go out down the pub by myself and not fail by myself because I've got the confidence back. I started coming along to the dads group so I could get out of the house more and meet other dads. Since starting the dads group I've gained in a lot of confidence. I now run a beginner's computer course um, for any age group, voluntary. You know, teaching them the basics or giving them a wee refresher if they've not used them in a wee while. I also really enjoyed learning about using different softwares on the computer like I Can Animate which is a stop animation program and also learning about editing films and footage and stuff, which was really good. I found out about the dad's group through Linda Finlay. She works with my son and, you know, she said, do you want to come along? Don't know what we'll be doing yet, but, you know, it could, it could be could be interesting. And I thought, yeah, I'd quite like to give that a go. I mean, planning was a big part of it. And then there was all the other bit, you know, all the bits around about it with the, haven't you? talk about it with folk and, and you know, we, would, we were sort of, when we were showing it off, you know, we all had to kind of stand up and give a wee bit of a speech and that was a new thing for me, I've not done that too often. Who knows what could be the next thing to sort of inspire us to, to, to make a start on something.